All right guys, so in this muscle intelligence video, we are looking at the training intensifier known as occlusion training or blood flow restriction training as it's commonly known. Now, blood flow is important for anabolic growth effects. Blood is responsible for the transport of oxygen, nutrients, and many other molecules critical for physiological responses to achieve anabolism. As a result, even an entire category of sports supplements have emerged in the past 10 years focused on increasing blood flow to enhance anabolism. But what if I told you that the opposite is true as well? What if I told you that occluding blood flow to muscles can also have an anabolic effect? Well, that's what occlusion, or blood flow restriction training, is all about. And it has years of research to support its effectiveness. So that is what we're going to look at in this video. Basically, blood flow restriction training involves restricting the return of blood flow from the muscle. We want blood being able to travel into the muscle, but restrict blood flow from returning from the muscle, thus causing a blood pulling effect. How this is accomplished is by the use of a restriction. Most easy and accessible is using knee wraps securely tightened above the target muscle. Tight enough to restrict the veins, but not too tight to restrict the arteries. Okay, so when performed properly, occlusion training actually allows your client to use much lower weights than normal and still achieve hypertrophy training responses. In fact, occlusion training can increase muscle size using training loads as light as 20% of a one rep max. Now this is extremely interesting seeing as it's well considered that lifting at least 65% of your one RM for six to 12 reps to achieve hypertrophy under normal conditions is required. As you guys know, it's thought anything under that intensity is going to do next to nothing for hypertrophy effects. Yet, muscle hypertrophy is occurring at much lower intensity via occlusion training. Occlusion training induces an anabolic response through various pathways. So we're gonna look at each of these. Fast switch fiber activation is the first we'll look at. As you guys know, muscles are made up of two fiber types, type 2A and type 1. Type 2 fibers are the ones which grow easier, but they are only recruited when you go to failure or when you use loads 80% of your 1RM, the heavyweight stuff. Occlusion training restricts blood flow to muscles, pre-fatiguing the slow twitch fibers and forcing the anaerobic fast twitch fibers to handle the load even at low intensities. Metabolically, your muscle is getting a similar effect to lifting heavy loads, but using much lighter weights. Second anabolic pathway is through metabolic byproduct accumulation. Now, as you know already, when you train, you cause a buildup of metabolic byproducts in the targeted muscle. Under normal conditions, a good percentage of these metabolic byproducts are normally washed out by normal blood flow, but occlusion training allows them to accumulate. Lactate accumulation in particular has an anabolic effect by increasing growth hormone concentrations. In fact, one study found that blood flow restriction training caused a GH increase of 290 times above baseline. This is a two-fold increase in GH than what is produced by normal heavy resistance training. And finally is the increase in anabolic triggers. Now, if those previous reasons weren't convincing enough to try occlusion training, Consider that it also has been shown to increase muscle protein synthesis, as well as satellite cell activation. Perhaps even more impressive, blood flow restriction training has been demonstrated to reduce myostatin concentrations. For you who don't know what myostatin is, it's a big time inhibitor of muscle growth and is thought to limit muscle potential of muscle gain. First up, before you start using this, blood flow restriction training can be performed easiest for the upper legs, calves, and upper arms, using firmly wrapped knee wraps. To occlude the targeted muscle, wrap at approximately 70% of maximum tightness around the uppermost part of the muscles. If you're feeling a tingling in the extremities of the wrapped limbs, or your limb is turning a blue shade, you have wrapped too tight. Unwrap and wrap again. To optimize this technique, perform three to five sets to muscular failure with only 20 to 50% of your one rep max. Have the muscle occluded the entire time. Rest periods should be 30 to 60 seconds between sets and after the final set, remove the wraps and restore blood flow to the targeted muscle. A word of advice, 
be prepared for a lot of pain. And if you do not find yourself in excruciating pain, the odds are the wraps are not tied enough. If done right, tied right, rest times on point, and correct load selected, blood flow restriction training can help trigger a huge hypertrophy response 